right guys welcome back so in the previous video we learned how to store data inside a database and we are done with that now we have already created a very basic spider and a spider and a crawler are working right now but now it's time to move on to more advanced stuff and what I want to cover is how to build a more advanced spider that is able to crawl multiple pages so currently we are just scrapping the first page of our example website that is quotes.toscrape.com now what if we want to scrap multiple pages so for example if I click on next it's going to take me to the second page of this website and if I click on next again it's going to take me to the third page so right now we are just scrapping the first page so in this video we are going to learn how to follow the links that are given on a web page and in the next video we are going to learn how to scrap the websites that have pagination in them by pagination I basically mean that they have numbers over here that is the first page the second page the third page the fourth page in that case our following link strategy won't work but on websites where this next button is there this strategy of following links will work and even if you don't have to follow the next page you can use it to follow other links so for example websites have for example these tags you can click on this tag and it will take you to the tag of love and you'll be able to see all the quotes of the tag with the love so it, it can be also used to follow these links over here but in our case we are going to learn how to follow the link that is given in this next page and scrap all of these multiple pages and in our case there are 10 pages now one thing I want you to notice is that whenever this uh, next button is clicked it takes us to the next page so right now we are on the second page of this quotes website and when we click on this next button the page number changes to 3 and uh, how does the browser know that it has to change this number to 3 and it knows that by if we click on just an inspect element of this next button you'll be able to see that the next page number is actually stored inside this Lee element and inside this Lee element there is this A element and inside this A element there is this attribute of href and it contains the page number that it is supposed to go next so here is what we are going to do with Scrappy. So first we are going to go to the main page. We want our Scrappy to be at the main page with the start URL over here. So if we go back to our code, the start URL should be this main page. And then what we want is that Scrappy should find this next button. And after finding this next button, we want it to search for this ahref tag and take out this page number of two and then we want the scrappy to redirect to the second page so when it redirects to the second page it will see this page so let's just wait for a second all right so it will see this second page and then we want to scrap the items of the second page and then again we want it to go to the next button find the next element that is in, uh, in our case it will be probably page three and uh, just go so on till all of the pages end so in our case if we go to page number 10 so you can even manipulate the url to go to page number 10 so if we go to page number 10 and press enter you'll be able to see that this is the last page because there is no more next button but if we try to go to the 11th page by manip manipulating the url you'll be able to see that no quotes found is written. So in our Scrappy Python code, we will have to add one more condition which tells Scrappy that, hey, if no more pages are found, that is the if condition is equals to none, then make sure you stop following this link. So in total, we need to do three steps. The first step is to find this next button. The second step is to actually to find the link that it is redirecting to. In our case, in this page is page number two. And then the third step is actually going to that link. And within these three steps between the second step and the third step, we'll also put an if condition which checks whether the next page is empty or none or not. So let's go into our code and actually code this thing. So the first step, as we have already discussed, is to find this uh, page two. And how we'll do that, that we are going to do that using CSS selectors, which we have already learned. So we are going to find this Lee element which has a class of next and then inside that we are going to go inside this a element and then we are going to take out this attribute of href and we are going to get the value of this href tag so let's go inside our python code and over here just outside this for loop so let's press enter go outside this for loop and over here we are just going to create a variable and let's call it next page and then we are just going to use a simple CSS selector. So we'll just write uh, response.css. And inside this response, we are going to use the CSS selector. So let's just write uh, 
Lee dot and we want the class of next as you can see it says Lee class equals to next so we'll put in the dot character and then we'll just put in next and then inside this Lee dot next we want this a element a HTML element so we are gonna put in an a and then inside this a we want this href uh, attribute so we are just gonna go inside a code and put in two columns and we're gonna write href and because we want the attribute of this href we have to write a double t r that stands for attribute and we need to cover this href in parenthesis and then we can just use dot get to get the value of the next and now we are just gonna use an if condition to check whether this next page value is empty or not so we are just gonna write an if condition and write if next page is not none and this basically means if the next page value is empty or not and we are doing this because if we go to the next page and uh, let's go on to the page number 10 and press enter as you can see that there is no next button over here so when scrappy will try to get the value of the next page it will return as none or empty so if the next page is not none then we can actually go to the next page otherwise it's not gonna do anything so we don't want the scrappy to scrap empty pages like for example it can even go to 100 but there's no page over there so there's no point in going going over to page 100 when it just has 10 pages so that's why we are kind of kind of putting an if condition so that not a lot of our resources are wasted so now that we have put in an if condition how do we exactly go to this next page even though we have the value of next page right now we don't have any way of going to the next page so that scrappy can scrap the next page so what scrappy does is that it has a very cool method inside it known as response dot follow and it will automatically follow this next page and you don't have to do any work so what scrappy does is every time it goes inside this def parse method it automatically looks for that method known as response dot follow and that is what we are going to do so first we'll just write yield which kind of is return and then we are going to use this function of response dot follow and inside this is going to take two parameters the first parameter is going to be the page that we want it to follow and we want it to follow the next page and then it wants us a callback so where should it go after it goes to that next page so we want to also scrap the next page so we'll just ask it to go back to parse and scrap all the codes from the second page and then it will come back to the next page and this time it will contain the page number three and then it will check whether the page number three is empty or not and then it will again go to the value of the next page and then it will again go to pass until it reaches the page number 10 where this if condition will return false and it will just stop so we'll just add a call back over here. Let's call it call back. And we'll give it a value of self dot parse because we wanted to go back to this method. So what this scrappy is doing right now is that first it's gonna start from this main page that is quotes dot to scrape dot com. Let's actually follow that. Let's go back to our main page. So first it will start with quotes dot to scrape dot com and it will scrap the first page. After that, it will come to this next page and it will check out this next button. It will get the value that is the value of the second page and it will go to this response dot follow after checking whether the second page is empty or not. And then it will actually go to the next page and then it's kind of starts thinking, hey, what am I supposed to do next? So here we are going to tell it that, hey, just go to this parse method again. So it will go back to the parse method and this is kind of a recursive function. So it will go back to this parse method and again it will just scrap the second page so it goes to the next page that is the second page it scraps all of these items and as you can see we have done the next page or we have taken out the next page outside this for loop so this thing happens after it has scrapped all the quotes of that page and then it goes to page number three page number four and it goes on so guys this is pretty much it for this video in the next video we are going to learn how to scrap pages that have this kind of pagination in them because we haven't learned that till now so I'll see you in the next video.